everybody, I'm Terry Darty in the Mom's Choice Awards studio at Book Expo America 2014. And I'm here this afternoon with Jessica St. Louis, author of Mangoes for Max. Welcome to BEA. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. We had the breakfast this morning in the children's author. Yes, was that awesome? It was. I got a selfie with Jason Siegel. <gasps> I'm jealous! <laughs> yeah. He was so good this morning. Yes, he was. It was great. All, all of them were great. So, We're not here to talk about Jason, so let's talk about Mangoes for Max. Max is a monkey allergic to bananas. Right. Most times when people say food allergies, they think peanuts. Right. So why bananas? So I wrote a book um, about a monkey allergic to bananas because all children can relate to monkeys and thinking that they eat bananas. So I wanted them to be able to find a, a happy, gentle creature that they could relate to and understand what they normally eat. So immediately when children find out that Max does not eat bananas, they're curious why. Why doesn't he eat bananas? Because he's allergic to it. And so this way, um, instead of talking about one particular allergen uh, that a child may have, um, I want it to be very uh, generic so a child with a different allergy um, could relate. So if I just said peanuts, a child who's only allergic to milk but has a severe allergy to milk, they um, may not relate as well. So if I kept it to animals, then I felt that, um, and uh, kept it with bananas, it would be a food allergen that's not as common with adults and children, um, that I thought that it would be a better way to include everybody. Well, yeah, you were saying that peanuts is, not a, is among the top seven. Top eight, yes. Top there's eight. Top, yes, there's eight top allergens. Um, milk, they most oftentimes say just milk even though it's all dairy, but the general public seems to relate with milk and they think of cheese. So when I say milk, it actually means all dairy. So there's milk, eggs, nuts, which are tree nuts, and then peanuts, which are a separate category. And then we have wheat, um, shellfish, fish, and soy. Well, I can't imagine being in a school situation is what comes to my mind, you know, that since this is for children four to seven, how do educators navigate all of that? And how can Mangoes for Max help them with that? So um, this book was written in particular for the classmates of a child with food allergies so they could understand uh, what a child is going through with food allergies and what they need to know. So basically, what a child needs to know that has friends and classmates um, that they're eating with in the cafeteria, um, what they need to know is to keep them hands to themselves. You know, they might be eating food that a, a food allergic child is allergic to. So they might be eating a cheese sandwich and most people think of a peanut butter sandwich. Well, no, he could be allergic to the wheat. He could be allergic to the dairy. He could be allergic to their yogurt that they're, you know, messily eating. So um, eating, you know, eating very messy. So. This book uh, just gently introduces food allergies and um, what the friends need to do to keep them safe. So it's a great story to um, have in the classroom that will gently introduce it uh, to the class and then produce dialogue between the students and the teacher. Now, do you have programs that you offer where, you know, for the teacher that says, I'm not sure how to deal with this, that you sort of give them some guidance on, okay, this is the best way so um, on my book, I give 10% of proceeds to FAIR, which is Food Allergy Research and Education, and they are an amazing source uh, for education and research for food allergies. And I have created a slide program, slideshow program, um, to help educate the educators on what is common in their classroom that could be a top eight allergen, like when they're making noodle necklaces or they're collecting milk jugs to make a school igloo or there's just there's so many different avenues where they're making arts and crafts making caterpillars out of egg cartons or it could be a child with a severe egg allergy so um, there there are multiple um, ways in a classroom where most uh, teachers are aware of how to handle a fo uh, food allergy if it's peanuts but there are seven other top allergens and um, I have created this uh, program which I um, you know, really enjoy doing, I really enjoy um, speaking with the teachers and faculty because my goal is to help promote food allergy education. Well, and it's interesting you say that because when you talk about talking to the teachers and food allergy education, I instantly think cafeteria. Yes. I would never have thought the noodle necklace or yeah. the igloo or any of those things. Yes. So thank you for educating me yes. this afternoon. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> I hope enjoy the rest of BEA. Okay, thank you. Thank you.